Do you want to create a membership website to sell your content but the easy way? Well, this is the video you don't want to miss. Hello, I'm Kay from Brainstorm Force, and today I'm excited to show you how to create a membership website but in a super easy way. Okay, first let's take a look at what we're going to build. So we're going to create a membership website that sells recipe. There will be blog posts accessible to everyone, but also blog posts that would only be accessible to people that have the Little Chef membership. And similarly, we have a second tier membership called MasterChef. And if people try to access it, they get to this message that the content is only accessible to MasterChef memberships. But once the Little Chef membership has been purchased, the blog post is now accessible. And the same goes for our MasterChef membership. Once it's purchased, the customer can now access the content. Now for this tutorial, we'll need one premium plugin. But as you will soon find out, this premium plugin will end up costing you less money than the free solutions in the market. But more about that later. Okay, first, what is a membership website? Well, if you click on this video, I assume you know what it is, but in a nutshell, a membership website is gonna allow you to protect content, whether for free or for a fee. Example of free memberships could be just to read a forum, you need to be a member to access the content, but it could be free. Whereas here on the digital marketer website, just to give you an example, if you want to access the content, they have different plans. One at $95 per month, one at $495 per month. And that brings us to membership pricing strategies. Now there are some established patterns when it comes to memberships, but you could also invent your own. One common strategy is to limit the amount of content per plan. So we have one plan with one price, and then if the users want more content, more bells and whistles, then they go for the next price. And you can have several tiers. Now don't overdo it because you're going to confuse your potential customers. Two or three should suffice. And those tiers can also be called membership levels. Now you may be wondering, why build it yourself? After all, you can find ready-to-go solutions online like Teachable, for example. But these ready-made solutions come with several drawbacks. First of all, it's not as flexible as the solution I'm going to outline in this video. Next, it comes with fixed fees or transaction fees or both. And as you'll see in a moment, these can quite add up. And then you also tie to their terms and conditions. If they change the terms and conditions, then you don't have a word to say about it. And money-wise, the more you sell, the more you pay, which is not the case with the solution I'm going to show you today. So with that in mind and with this pricing, and by the way, this is the annual pricing. If you go monthly, that's gonna be more expensive. But let's imagine we go annual. Let's break it down, shall we? So let's start with the teachable free plan, which as the name says, comes free. So let's imagine we wanna sell a membership for an annual price of $100. So for this plan, the fixed fees will be $0. Transaction fees are $1 per transaction plus 10%. So for 100 memberships, the total amount we would make would be $10,000 before the cut. Next, if we break down the fees, so it would be $100 plus $1,000. And how do we get this? Well, as we said, $1 per transaction by 100 and 10% of the membership price by 100. So the total price would be 1100 that we need to withdraw from the total cut. So your cut would be $10,000 minus 1100. So the total amount is $8,900. Okay, now let's move to the basic plan. So for the basic plan, once again, same membership price, but now we have fixed fees of $468. How do we get this? Well, it's $39 per month and then we get transaction fees of 5% per transaction. So if we take the same calculation, our fees will be $968 when we add the fixed fees and the transaction fees, which means that on $10,000, your cut will be $9,032. Okay, that's slightly better, but now let's move on to the pro plan. Okay, for the pro plan, the good news is that we don't have transaction fees, so it's 0% per transaction, but we have fixed fees of $1,428. How do we get this? Well, it's $119 per month. Next, we still have the same 100 memberships that we sold for $100, so it will be $10,000 of revenue. And if we withdraw the fixed fees, it means that our cut is $8,572. Ouch! Now, before I compare the numbers with the solution I'm about to disclose, 
let's break it down. So first of all, we use a free tool called WordPress, which I'm sure you already know about, but that would be the core of our solution. And it's really flexible as you may know it. Okay, but since we want to use WordPress, we need the domain name and a web host to host the files of our website. Okay, and for that, we use a web hosting company like SiteGround and the plans comes as little as $2.99 per month. And depending on where you're located, a free domain name might even be included for the first year. And next, and this is the premium plugin I talked about, is Sure Members. And Sure Members is really going to change the game because it's gonna make it way easier to build a membership website. And if you've ever tried to build a membership website by yourself with existing solution, you will know what I'm talking about by the end of this video. So make sure you watch until the end. And when it comes to pricing, Share Member is very cost effective because it starts from $99 per year. Now, if you're lucky, you might get a discount, but let's be conservative here. Let's say that it costs $99 per year. Now, to be fair, solutions like Teachable come with the ability to add videos. So what if you want to add videos to your WordPress install? Well, you could use a solution like Bunny Stream, which is extremely cheap. Basically, it's a pay as you go, so you buy a credit, and then it withdraws credit when people watch the videos, but you need to try it for yourself. It's very, very cheap. Or if you want to know exactly what you're going to spend, you can use a solution like Vimeo because the plans start at $9 per month. Okay, now let's compare the two solutions. Now I've ruled out the Teachable free plan because it comes with too many drawbacks, too many limitations. So let's start with Teachable Basic. And as a reminder, your cuts on 100 memberships sold for $100 would be $932 after you paid your cut. Now, when it comes to Teachable Pro, as a reminder, your cut would have been $8,572. But now let's take a look at the solution we outlined in this video. Now, for this tutorial, I'm going to use Stripe. You can sign up for free. Now, in terms of pricing, Stripe charges 2.9% per successful car charge plus 30 cents. Now more payment processors are coming to the share family, but even with the Stripe fees, you're still making more money with WordPress and share member than with the Teachable Basic and Teachable Pro plans. Okay, next, let's set up our membership website, shall we? And first we wanna get our domain and web hosting. So once again, we go to the SiteGround website, you'll find links in the description below. And then we click on view plans and we'll go for the startup plan. So click on get plan. And next you want to type your domain name. So your preferred domain or whatever you want.com and then click on proceed. So if you're in the US, you get the first year for free for the domain. And after that, you need to pay $19.99. So Click on proceed and yes, congratulations, your preferred domain.com is available for free registration with your hosting account. And then you want to provide an email address and a password and confirm the password. Make sure you write down the password and don't forget it. Then you want to fill in the client information, put your credit card number and then just proceed, review the deal and just click on pay now. Now we already have an account. So the next thing you want to do once you're logged into your dashboard is to click on the website tab. And next you want to click on new website. And in your case, since you just got a new domain, you may want to click on select existing domain. Now, if you just got the domain, it might take a few minutes for the domain to be effective. So in this case, you may want to use a temporary domain. And just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to choose temporary domain. Next, click on continue, then click on start a new website. And as we scroll down, we want to select WordPress. Next, you want to set up your login credentials. So you're going to type an email address and then you're going to type a password or you can ask it to generate the password. Make sure you safely save this information and then click on continue. Next, on the following screen, click on finish. And next, sit back and relax. It should take approximately less than two minutes. And voila, we're all set. So next, click on Login in Admin. Okay, next we are greeted with the WordPress starter from SiteGround, but we don't want to use it. So just click on Exit. Okay, next you want to go to Appearance, Themes, then click on Add New. And for this tutorial, we're going to use the Astra theme. So just type Astra, click on Search, and click on Install. Then click on Activate. Okay, let's check. So if you go back to Appearance, themes, we can now see that the Astra theme is activated. Now, this is our current website, so not really what you probably had in mind. 
but let's fix this. So back in the WordPress dashboard, you want to go to plugins, add new, and then in the top right search bar, you want to type starter template and then click on search, click on install and click on activate. Next, you want to go to appearance, starter templates. So the starter templates are going to allow us to create a beautiful website in no time. So click on build your website now. And next we're going to select blog editor. Now for this tutorial, we're going to use a blog. So go to the blog section, then food blog, and we're going to pick this one. So click on the thumbnail and then click on skip and continue. Choose your default colors and then click on continue. Next, you want to fill in the information and then click on submit and build my website. And next we are building your website and voila, your website is ready and it took just 22 seconds to build. So just click on view your website and voila, up and running. I told you it was going to be easy. Next, we need to create and organize our content so that we know which content is for members only. Now, the beauty of the starter templates is that it comes with dummy content. So for the purpose of this video, the Frankie basket recipe is going to be free. The spinach salad will be from the first level of membership and the banana salad will be from the second level of membership. So there are different ways to protect the content, but I'm going to show you what I think is the easiest one. Now, as mentioned for this tutorial, we're only going to protect two recipes. So spinach salad that will be accessible from the first level of membership and the banana salad recipe that will be accessible from the second level of membership. Now I'm talking about recipes, but actually they're just blog posts. And then with that in mind, I'm just going to click on the tags sub tab. And then I'm just going to create a new tag called little chef, hit enter and then click on update. Next, I'm going to repeat the operation for the banana salad. So let me create a new tag and this time it's going to be called master chef and hit update. So the logic behind it is that once we finish this tutorial, the customers that have access to the master chef membership can access this post banana salad and the customers that have access to the little chef membership can access this post, the spinach salad. Okay. Next we want to install the sure member plugin. So in order to get sure member, you find the link in the description below. Just go to get started and then choose your preferred plan, fill in the information, then click on purchase and you will receive an email with your license and the zip file. So back in the WordPress dashboard, you want to go to plugins, add new, then you want to click on upload plugin, choose file and select the share members zip that you get once you purchase share member and click on install now. Great. Next click on activate plugin. Now, just a quick word to tell you that SiteGround installs several plugins, but if you use a different web host, the interface might be slightly different because SiteGround used their own layer, whereas other web hosts might not. And in that case, you would have the vanilla WordPress interface. In that case, you would click on upload plugin and then just click on choose file and then click on install and activate. It's exactly the same, just a slight difference in the interface. Next, you want to click on share members. And then in the top right corner, you want to click where it says unlicensed, paste the license you get from the email confirmation and then click on activate license. And voila, the site was successfully activated. So now you can get updates and your website is safe. Let's close this. And as you can see now it says licensed. Next, sitting in the top right corner, you want to click on this settings icon and that shows us the options for sure members. And we're not going to spend too much time on this because this video is going to be long enough and honestly, you can leave it as default, but let me quickly show you. So in the admin settings tab, you can display share members icon on the block editor. You can restrict content in search results. You can use user roles to decline admin access, which is pretty handy if you want to safe proof your install, which is very handy if there are several people editing the website. And you can also assign access groups, in other words, membership levels to new registrations. Next, we have to create user roles. This is super handy if you want to create custom user roles, which might be the case because once again, you might have several people editing the website. Next, we have redirection rules. You can have a login redirect and a logout redirect. And that's great because you can totally customize the customer experience. Next, we have the login styler and that's pretty handy because basically you can customize this screen, make it match your own brand and really tailor the user experience. And last but not least, we have the text labels tab where you can change the labels that come with sure members. 
Okay, next, let's create our membership levels. So back in the WordPress dashboard, you want to click on share members. Then where it says access group, you want to click on add new. And next, we want to give it a name. So we're going to call it little chef level. And we want to tell the plugin which content is going to be protected. So where it says protected content, we're going to select specific pages, posts, taxonomies, etc. Then in the field just below, we're going to start typing little. And there you go, he found Little Chef. So all singulars from Little Chef. We could also add drip content or downloads, but we're gonna keep it simple today. So next where it says unauthorized access, you wanna click on the drop down, and you can either redirect to a URL so you can create a custom page or just add a message. We're gonna add a message for the sake of the simplicity of this tutorial. Now, because it's a blog post, we can activate the option to display the message in content. Next, the message is going to be, this content is accessible to Little Chef memberships. And the button text is going to be, join now. And now for the button URL, for the time being, I'm going to put just a pound sign. We're gonna leave it like this, but we'll come back to this later in this video because we'll need to link to the sales page or actually the custom checkout page. And then we want to enable the login button. And once we're happy, we click on save access group. And voila, we've created our first level of membership. Now let's repeat the operation for the MasterChef membership. So once again, we click on share members, add new, and we're going to call it MasterChef level. Once again, we select specific pages, post taxonomies. And here I'm going to type master and it finds MasterChef. So all singulars from MasterChef. Next, choose action for unauthorized access, message. I activate the in content option. And this time the message is going to be, this content is accessible to MasterChef memberships. Once again, for the button text is going to be join now. And for the time being, just put the pound sign for the URL and we want to enable the login button. Okay, next click on save access group. Okay, great, so now let's put it to the test. Okay, so let's test with the first recipe. This one should be free because it's not in any membership. So yes, works fine. Now let's take a look at the spinach salad recipe. Click on read more. And it says this content is accessible to Little Chef memberships. Okay, great, now let's go back and let's click on the banana salad recipe. And this one says this content is accessible to MasterChef memberships. So it works, but now we need a way to make people pay to access this content. Well, yes and no, because as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, a membership website can be paid for, but can also be free. So what we'll do is that for the Little Chef membership, it's going to be free. All we want is people to leave their email address. Whereas for the MasterChef level of membership, we want people to pay a subscription fee. So I know what you're thinking, WooCommerce. And yes, you could use WooCommerce, but that wouldn't really make sense because first of all, it would be heavier than the solution I'm going to propose. So no, the product we're going to use today is called ShareCart. And as you may have guessed, it's part of the Share family. So it's gonna play really well with Share members. Now, in terms of pricing, fear not, all you need for this tutorial is the free version. That's gonna be more than enough. But of course, if you wanna know all about the bells and whistles of the pro plans, you can always click on the link in the description below. So in the WordPress admin, you wanna to go to plugins, add new. Then in the search field, you wanna type share cart and click on search. Click on install and activate. Next, you wanna to go to share cart settings. Next, if a prompt does not appear, you wanna to go to share cart, get started, and then click on set up my store. Next, you wanna fill in the info with your name, email address, and password, and click on sign up. Next, choose your preferred plan. We're going to select the free plan. Next, review the settings and click on next step. Next, it's going to ask us to connect a payment processor, but we're just going to skip this step for now. So click on or connect payment processor later. Next, you will find your personal API token to WordPress. Make sure you copy this in a safe place because you will need it. So just click on the copy icon and click on back to WordPress. Next, just paste the API key you just copied and click on complete installation. Congrats, it's like one of the most technical tasks of this tutorial. Now, very, very important. Once you've signed up with ShareCard, you're gonna get two emails and the second email says, please verify your ShareCard email. 
So all you have to do is click on this big button. Make sure you do it because otherwise some things are not going to work. Okay, next let's configure ShareCart. So in WordPress, you want to go to ShareCart settings and there are many options here that are plenty self-explanatory when you click on the tabs. But for this tutorial, we're going to focus on the taxes and the processors. So let's start with the taxes. Now, taxes are crucial when it comes to an e-commerce website and I strongly advise you go and check with a professional accountant. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to enable tax collection and enable a fallback rate of 20%. Now, I know each country is going to be different, but that's why I'm using a fallback rate just for this tutorial. So next, you want to add an address, click on save. And if you are in the EU, I got good news for you because it comes with EU VAT settings. As you may know, there are so many rules and regulations in Europe. So here you can enable the VAT number requirement, local reverse charge, and the VAT number verification failure. Next, payment processors. And once again, this is such a crucial point for any e-commerce website, but the Shure team has made it so, so easy. Now for this tutorial, I'm going to use Stripe. You can sign up for free. Now, if you don't have a Stripe account yet, just click on sign up and follow the process on screen. Or if you do already have an account, all you need to do is sign in, but please do so in the same browser where you're logged in in your WordPress dashboard. So for example, right now, I'm in the same browser where I'm logged in on my Stripe account. And all I need to do is go to ShareCart, Settings, and then Processors. Next, where it says Stripe, I'm just going to click on the little arrow and then I'm going to connect my Stripe account. But before I do so, very important, you need to select which mode you want to use. Now, of course, for this tutorial, I don't want to use the live mode, so I'm going to click on Test Mode. Of course, don't forget to change the mode once you go live. So with the Test Mode enabled, I'm going to click on Connect, then once again, Connect, and voila, you've successfully connected to Stripe. Yeah, for real, it was that easy. Okay, that's fine, but now we need a way to connect Sure members to ShareCart. And the first step is to create ShareCart products. So back in WordPress, you wanna to go to ShareCart, Products, Add New, and we're going to call our first product LeaderChef Membership. Then click on Create. And next, we wanna click on Add a Price. And if you recall, we said that the first level of membership, which is the LeaderChef Membership, will be accessible against an email address, but it will be free. So for the payment type, we're gonna keep one time, and for the price, we're gonna type zero, and then click on Create Price. Great. Next, where it says Integration, you wanna click on Add New Integration, then click on the dropdown, and you wanna select Share Members. Next, in the next dropdown, you wanna select an item, and we want to select the Little Chef level that we created previously, and click on Add Integration. Next, let's scroll back up. We want it to be available for purchase. We want to charge tax on this product. We already set this up, but this is not a physical product. So I'm just going to turn this option off and then click on save product. Great. Now let's do the same for the MasterChef. So let's go back to products, add new. This time we're going to call it MasterChef membership. Click on create, click on add a price. But this time we want to change the drop down to subscription. So it could also be an installment. So a one time price, but paid in installment, but we're going to pick subscription. So the price is going to be $10 per month. So repeat once every month. We could add a free trial, but this is for the premium. So if you try, it's going to ask you to upgrade your plan. But for this tutorial, we don't need it. So click on create price. Great. Next, once again, click on add new integration, select share members. And in the drop down, we're going to select MasterChef level that we created previously. Click on add integration. We are almost done here. And once again, it's not a physical product. So we're going to turn this option off. If you want, you can add a product image for both products, of course. And once you're happy, click on save product. Okay, we're getting there. Next, we want to create custom checkout form for each product. So in WordPress, you want to go to ShareCart forms. Now by default, ShareCart created a default checkout page. We're going to click on add new and we're going to call it Little Chef Checkout. Now we can choose the default design or a simple design. We have sections, two columns. We're going to keep it simple and use the default. Click on next and now we can add our product. So click on add product. And as you can see, you found the two products we just created. So we're going to select the Little Chef membership. Next, we can select the product options. I'm gonna leave it as is, and we can link to a custom thank you page. 
And in this case, you can look at all the pages you have currently in WordPress. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to keep the standard thank you page created by Sharecart. So next, click on create. Okay, and very, very important. If you recall when we connected Stripe, I told you we're using the test mode. So here where it says live, you wanna select test. Otherwise, it's not going to work. And then once you go live with the website, make sure you change it both here and in the payment processor options in ShareCard. Okay, so next, click on publish. Okay, and our page is published. Now let's create the checkout page for the MasterChef membership. So once again, you go to ShareCard forms, add new. This time it's going to be MasterChef checkout, still the default template, click on next, add product. This time we're going to select the MasterChef membership, which is a subscription, and we're gonna leave as is for the rest of the options. So click on create, and once again, change from live to test. Next, click on publish a second time, and voila. Okay, we're almost done, but now that we created the checkout forms, we need pages to show these forms. So in WordPress, you wanna to go to pages, add new, and we're gonna call our first page, Little Chef Checkout page. Next, you wanna click on the plus sign to add a block, and we're going to look for checkout form. So next, click on select form, click on the drop down, and we're going to select our Little Chef Checkout form. Next, click on choose, double check that it's in test mode, and click on publish. Let's repeat the operation by creating a new page called MasterChef checkout page, plus sign, look for the checkout form block, click on select form and in the drop down, this time we're going to select the MasterChef checkout. Click on choose, double check that it's in test mode and click on publish. Now, if you remember at the beginning of this tutorial, when I show you how to create the membership levels, I told you we had to go back to these pages to link to the checkout pages that we've just created now. Next, in WordPress, I'm gonna go to Share Members, and then in the options on the right-hand side where it says Button URL, I'm just going to remove this sign, I'm gonna type Checkout, and I'm going to select Little Chef Checkout Page. Then click on Save Access Group. Okay, now let's repeat the operation for our MasterChef group. So in WordPress, go to Share Member, and then I'm going to open MasterChef Level. And once again, in the options on the right-hand side, just going to remove this, type Checkout, and I'm going to select the MasterChef Checkout page. Click on Save Access Group, and we should be set. Now let's put it to the test. Okay, so first of all, let's check our Frankie Basket recipe. This one is not in any membership, so it's totally free and it works well. Let's try our spinach salad. And as previously, it says this content is accessible to Little Chef memberships. And if I click on join now, as expected, I land on the Little Chef checkout page, fill in the required info and click on purchase. Now it's a free purchase. All we wanted was the email address, which we got. So we're happy as a business owner. And now if I go back to the blog, scroll down and go back to spinach salad, and there you go, I can read it because I have the right level of membership. Now let's go back to the blog and let's try opening the banana salad recipe. Read more. And nope, I can't. Only accessible to MasterChef memberships. So how about we get that one too? So let's click on join now, fill in the required info. And because we're in test mode, Stripe has a very convenient way for us to test things. So. Let's put in the card number, which is always the same. It's just a test number, of course. Fill in the info and click on purchase. And voila, paid. So let's go back to our blog. Let's scroll down and this time let's click on banana salad. And as you can see, we now have access to this membership level. Congrats, you've made it. But what about the other little tweaks you may be interested in? So let's start with a thank you page once a customer has purchased a membership level. So for that, you wanna to go to all pages and then there's a page called thank you and this page was automatically created by Sharecard. So hover over the link and click on edit. And for example, if you wanted to customize this page, you could click on the plus sign to add a block and let's say I want to add the post grid block so I could customize it and only show posts according to tags. And for the tags, I could pick Little Chef, for example, just to show you what it looks like. Okay, so let me update this. And now if I go back to my Little Chef membership 
thank you page when we previously purchased as a client. And if I refresh, as you can see, now the changes are reflected. Now, of course, it doesn't look good here. You would add some spacing, but it's just to show you what can be done. Next, customers get a confirmation email with a link to their product, but what if they just go to the site and they want to access their dashboard? So one simple way would be to change the button here in the navigation. So let's go back to WordPress. So first of all, in WordPress, you want to go to pages, all pages, then look for the dashboard page, hover over it. And then where it says view, you want to right click and click on copy link address. Next, you want to go to appearance, customize, then click on header builder button. And where it says join me now, we're going to change the label to dashboard. And for the link, we're just going to paste the link that we just copied and then click on publish. And now if I refresh the page, as you can see, it now says dashboard. And if I click on it, there you go. I'm in my dashboard and I can easily log out. Now, what if we want a smart menu? So let me show you. So right now, this is our menu, but maybe I want to add a menu item that says join now to join the membership. And then it will link to a page with the different membership levels. People can click on it and just purchase. But that would only make sense if someone is not a customer. When someone is logged in, we don't want to do that. So let me show you. In WordPress, you want to go to Appearance, Menus, then make sure you're using the primary menu. And now I want to add a custom link. So I'm just going to type the pound sign for a fake URL and I'm going to call it join now. Click add to menu and click on save menu. And now if I refresh, as you can see, we have our join now button, but it doesn't make sense because if I click on dashboard, I'm already a customer. So back in WordPress editing our menu, the solution is very simple. So I'm just going to click on the little arrow. And then here you have an option that says show menu when user is in access group. So we're going to change this to is not in. And then we're going to select our groups. So little, little chef level and master, master chef level. Great. So let's save our menu. And now let's go back and take notice. So here we have the join now. And now I'm going to refresh the page. And voila. But if I use a different browser, the join now button is back and let me prove it to you. If I click on dashboard, I'm not logged in and that's why it appears. And by the way, you've probably noticed this minimal yet stylish login form and it was automatically created by Sure Member. And if you want to style it in WordPress, go to Sure Members. Then in the top right corner, you want to click on the settings icon and then click on the login styler tab. And here you can change the brand colors, the logo settings, the login form and the background settings. And once you're happy with it, just click on save settings. So in this video, we've installed how to install WordPress, how to create and tag the content that we want to protect, how to create and connect membership levels in Sure Member to Surecart, and how to create custom checkouts for your customers to access your protected content. Now, as mentioned, the Sure Member and Surecart products are from the same family of rapidly growing products to create e-commerce website, membership websites, but the easy way. Now, if you want to take your website and your customer's experience to the next level, Sure Members and Sure Card come with pro features that can totally change the game. So if you want to find out more about that, of course, you'll find links in the description below. So what type of membership website do you plan on creating with this new knowledge? Please let us know in the comments below. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up because it really encourages us to create more content to serve you better. And if you want more of this type of content, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss anything. And I was serious. We'd really like to know which type of membership website you're going to create with this tutorial. Don't be shy. Leave us a comment.